What's up guys, welcome to another episode. In this episode we're going to be talking about DocuSign for the Android tablet. And as you can see I have a fake account that I've just created up real quick just to go ahead and show you a nice little example of it. Uh, I do want to let you know that you do get five free signatures with this. It is a free application to download, but if you want to do five signatures in the digital context as such as if you get your form in an email, uh, you can sign directly on your screen and send it back and it is actually a legal tender. So you can do that for DMV files, insurance claims, whatever you want to do this for. This is a great way of getting it done without having to wait for the mail. Because we all know the postage can take some time and especially if we need to get something done ASAP, uh, DocuSign is going to be that. Uh, but it's all going to depend on what plan you want if you do plan on making signatures more than five a month. Uh, but for for those you know average users out there that doesn't sign a whole lot of documents, the five a month will be plenty for us out there. Uh, I've only had to sign a few documents here and there. Uh, I've been using this for a few years now, and I can say I've probably signed about three or four documents total. So I don't need to go ahead and buy that, and most of you shouldn't either. But if you have a business account, chances are you might need to. Uh, but taking a look at it, as you can see, it keeps everything organized on the side over here. Uh, sorry about that shaking. Uh, the documents little section is going to be where all my documents are right now. Uh, if I did have everything kind of broken up into a library, that's where I'll be able to find those. But I don't do that because I'm not really using this app so much. I don't really have a library to configure. Uh, then there's my account information at the bottom. And then settings where you can go into that and kind of just make a few little simple changes towards the end there. Such as your date, uh, sharing some information, feedbacks, facts, terms and use, and all that type of uh, useful information. Uh, but I do want to say is uh, it does sign your signature can be saved that way you don't have to use your finger to sign on every little document uh, you can just put in a passcode and then go ahead and copy your signature every time and just place it into the right area uh, it'll digitally then kind of print it on there uh, then you can email it or send it via other you know shareable uh, source in the digital world and that way you can't uh, get your you know your signs copy back within a few you know a few minutes depending on how long it takes you to make the signature uh, but it is a free you know free to download in the Android Play Store I'm sorry the Google Play Store uh, but if you do have any questions or comments you can leave them in the section below don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next video peace